Where can I find the bread? Excuse me, where can I find the bread? I'm new to this store. Hi, the bread is in aisle five near the back of the store. Would you like me to show you? That would be great, thank you. I'm also looking for some cereal. Cereal is in aisle three. I can take you there first if you like. Yes, please. I appreciate your help. This store is bigger than what I'm used to. No problem. I know it can be a bit overwhelming. What kind of cereal do you usually get? I usually go for something with oats and nuts. Do you have any recommendations? You might like the organic muesli we have. It's on the top shelf here. That sounds good. I'll try it. And for bread, do you have whole grain? Yes, we have a variety of whole grain breads. Let's go to aisle five. Great. I'm trying to eat healthier these days. How much are the apples per kilo? Excuse me, I'm looking to buy some fruit. How much are the apples per kilo? Hi, the apples are $2.50 per kilo today. They are really fresh. That's a good price. Are you making something special? I'm planning to make an apple pie. Do you have any other fruit recommendations for pies? How about adding some pears? They are $3 per kilo and would go well with the apples in a pie. Great idea. I'll take some pears too. Sure thing. Anything else you need? I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Lisa. You're welcome, Sam. Enjoy making your pie. Can I get a discount on this? Excuse me, I'm interested in buying this sweater. Can I get a discount on this? Hello, let me check for you. Sometimes we have special offers. That would be great. I really like it, but it's a bit over my budget. I understand. It looks like we have a 10% discount on clothing this week. That's good news. How much would it be with the discount? With the discount, it comes down to $45. Is that okay for you? Yes, that's much better. I'll take it. Do you have this sweater in other colors? We have it in blue and gray as well. Would you like to see them? Yes, please. I might get another one if I like the color. Sure thing. I'll bring the other colors for you to look at. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me know if there's anything else I can assist you with. What's the soup of the day? Hello, I'm ready to order. What's the soup of the day? Well, today's soup is tomato basil. It's one of our favorites. Would you like to try it? Tomato basil sounds delicious. I'll have a bowl of that, please. What sandwiches do you recommend? Our grilled cheese sandwich pairs nicely with the tomato soup. It's very popular. That's perfect. I'll take the grilled cheese sandwich with the soup. Can I get anything to drink? We have fresh lemonade or iced tea. Both are very refreshing. Iced tea sounds good. Could you add a slice of lemon to it? Absolutely, we can do that. Will that be all for you today? Yes, that's everything. Thank you. Could you tell us if service is included in the bill? This meal was fantastic. Before we get the bill, do you know, is service included? I'm not sure, Tyler. Let's ask when we request the bill. Some places include it and some don't. Right, I always forget to check when I walk in. I'll ask the waiter. Also, did you enjoy your dish? I thought the pasta was excellent. Yes, my steak was cooked perfectly. Here's your bill. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Could you please tell us if service is included in the bill? 
Yes, a service charge of 10% is included. It's listed here, at the bottom of the bill. Oh, okay, thanks. And the service was great. I definitely come back here. I'm glad you enjoyed your meal. Have a great evening. Do you need any help in the kitchen? Hey, Emma, do you need any help in the kitchen? Oh, yes, please. Could you help me chop some vegetables for the salad? Sure, I can do that. What vegetables do you need? Some cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions would be great. The cutting board is over there. Got it. How often do you cook? Usually every day. I prefer homemade meals. They're healthier and tastier. I agree. Homemade food is the best. These veggies are chopped. What's next? Can you mix them in this bowl with some olive oil and vinegar? Sure thing. This is going to be a delicious salad. Thanks for your help. Cooking together is more fun. Definitely. It's a good way to spend time and make a meal. Can I have a glass of water, please? Can I have a glass of water, please? Of course, Olivia. Let me get you one. Do you prefer it cold or room temperature? Cold would be great, thanks. Here you go. A cold glass of water. Thank you, Ryan. It's just what I needed. Do you have plans for the rest of the day? I'm going to do some reading in the garden. It's nice to be outside. How about you? I'll probably relax indoors. Maybe watch a movie or read a book. Sounds like a good plan. Let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Thanks for the water, Ryan. It's refreshing. You're welcome, Olivia. Enjoy your relaxing day. I had a great time tonight. Thank you. I had a great time tonight. Thank you. The dinner and the movie were perfect. I'm glad to hear that, Alice. I enjoyed it too. It's always nice spending time with you. It's been a while since I had such a fun evening. I'm happy you liked it. I know you enjoy Italian food. So I thought it would be a good choice. It was a fantastic choice. We should do this again sometime. Definitely. Maybe next time we can try that new sushi place you mentioned. Yes, let's do that. I've heard great things about it. It's a plan then. I'll look into it and we can decide on a day. Sounds good to me. Thanks again for tonight, Chris. My pleasure, Alice. Have a good night. I will. Good night, Chris. Does this bus go to the city center? Excuse me. Does this bus go to the city center? I'm not familiar with this route. Yes, it does. I take this bus to the city center every day for work. You're on the right bus. That's a relief. Thank you. How long does the journey usually take? It's about a 20-minute ride, depending on traffic. Where in the city center are you headed? I'm going to the Main Street station. Is that on this bus's route? Yes, it stops right outside the station. You'll see a big clock tower there. You can't miss it. I appreciate that. It's always good to have help when navigating a new place. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. What time is the next train? Excuse me, I'm trying to catch a train. What time is the next train to London? The next train is at 10.30 a.m. It leaves in about 15 minutes. Are you in a hurry? Yes, a bit. I have a meeting in London at noon. Do you think I'll make it on time? The journey takes about an hour. If you catch this train, you should be there by 11.45 a.m. I see. 
Do these trains usually run on time? Generally, yes. There are occasional delays, but they're pretty reliable. That's good to know. I might start taking the train more often. It's definitely a convenient way to travel. Yes. Oh, I better head to the platform. Thanks for your help. No problem. Have a good meeting and safe travels. Where's the library? I'm new to this town. Could you tell me where is the library? Sure. The library is on Maple Street, next to the city park. It's about a 10-minute walk from here. Thanks. Is it a big library? Yes, it's quite large and has a good selection of books. They also have computers you can use. That's great. I'm looking for some books on history. Do you go there often? I do, especially when I need a quiet place to read or study. That sounds perfect. Do they have a place to sit and read? Yes, there are plenty of seats and tables. They even have a cafe area. A cafe in the library sounds lovely. I'll definitely check it out. Thanks for all your help. You're welcome. Enjoy the library. Can I borrow a pen, please? Excuse me, Sarah. Can I borrow a pen, please? Of course, Brian. Here's a pen. Do you need it for long? Just for a quick note. I'll return it in a few minutes. Thank you. No problem. Are you preparing for the meeting later? Yes, I need to jot down some points for the presentation. Do you have any tips? Just be clear and concise. And it's always good to have a summary at the end. That's helpful advice. I'll make sure to include a summary. Also, try to anticipate any questions they might ask. Good idea. I'll think about potential questions. I appreciate your help, Sarah. You're welcome, Brian. Good luck with your presentation. Thanks. I might need it. Here's your pen back. Thanks for returning it. Let me know if there's anything else you need. What page are we on? Hi, Lily. I just joined the class. What page are we on? Hi, Mike. We're on page 42 in the middle of chapter 5. Thanks, Lily. It looks like I have some catching up to do. Is this chapter difficult? It's not too bad. It's about basic grammar rules. Have you studied this before? A little bit. I might need to review some parts, though. Do you understand it well? I think so. If you have questions, I can try to help. We can study together if you like. That would be great. The library sounds like a good idea. We can go together today if you're free. I'd like that. Thanks for helping me out, Lily. No problem, Mike. When is homework due? Hey, Alex. I was absent last class. When is the homework due? Hi, Emily. The homework is due next Monday. Did you get the assignment details? No, I haven't. Can you tell me what we have to do? Sure. We need to write a one-page essay about our favorite hobby. Do we need to follow any specific format? Yes, I'll send it to you right away. By the way, do you need any help with the essay structure? I might. Can we meet up this weekend to work on it together? Sure, let's do that. How about Saturday afternoon at the cafe near the library? Saturday works for me. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate your help. No problem, Emily. It's always good to study together. See you then. I have an appointment with Dr. Smith. Hello, I have an appointment with Dr. Smith at 3 p.m. My name is Laura Benson. Good afternoon, Miss Benson. Let me check our schedule. Yes, I see your appointment with Dr. Smith. Please have a seat. He will be with you shortly. 
Okay, how long do you think the wait will be? Dr. Smith is usually on time. It shouldn't be more than a few minutes. That's great. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. If you need anything while you wait, just let me know. I will. Thanks again. Can you send me the report by email? I've finished compiling the data. Can you send me the report by email? I'd like to review it before the meeting. Sure, Kevin. I'll send it to you within the hour. Do you need the full report or just the summary? The full report would be great. I want to check all the details. No problem. I'll include the graphs and analysis as well. Is there anything else you need with it? Could you highlight the key findings? It will make it easier to discuss during the meeting. Sure thing. I'll mark the important parts and add some notes for clarity. Thanks, Sarah. That will be very helpful. When is the meeting scheduled again? It's tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'll also bring printed copies for everyone. Perfect. I appreciate your thoroughness. Let me know if you need help with anything else. Will do. Thanks, Kevin. I'll email you the report soon. I have a reservation under the name Linda. Good evening. I have a reservation under the name Linda for tonight. Good evening, Ms. Linda. Let me check that for you. Yes, I see your reservation for a double room. That's correct. Is the room ready? Yes, your room is ready. It's on the fifth floor, room 502. Here's your key card. Thank you. Does the room have a view of the city? Yes, it does. You'll have a nice view of the downtown skyline. That sounds wonderful. Is breakfast included in my reservation? Yes. Breakfast is served from 7 to 10 a.m. in the hotel restaurant on the ground floor. Great. And is there a gym in the hotel? We have a gym on the second floor, open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Perfect. Thank you for your help. You're welcome, Ms. Linda. Enjoy your stay and let us know if you need anything else. What time is checkout? Good morning. I wanted to ask, what time is checkout tomorrow? Good morning, Alex. Checkout time is at 11 a.m. Do you need a late checkout? I don't think so. I just want to plan my morning accordingly. Is breakfast still served until 9 a.m.? Yes. Breakfast is available until 9 a.m. in the dining room. We have a buffet with various options. That sounds good. I'll be sure to come down for breakfast. Can you arrange a taxi for me after checkout? Absolutely, Alex. What time would you like the taxi? Could you book it for 11.30 a.m.? I have a flight to catch in the afternoon. No problem. I'll arrange a taxi for 11.30 a.m. to take you to the airport. Thank you. Also, can I leave my bags here after checkout while I wait for the taxi? Of course. We can store your bags at the reception. Just let us know when you're ready to leave. That's great. Thanks for all your help. You're welcome, Alex. If there's anything else you need, feel free to ask. Enjoy your stay. Do you have Wi-Fi? Excuse me, do you have Wi-Fi here? I need to send an email. The Wi-Fi is free for customers. I can give you the password. That would be great, thanks. Is the connection fast? It's quite reliable and should be fast enough for emails and browsing. Perfect. Can I also order a coffee while I'm here? Of course. What kind of coffee would you like? I'll have a cappuccino, please. Here's the Wi-Fi password and I'll bring your cappuccino over to you. Thank you very much. How do I pay for the coffee? You can pay at the counter when you're ready, or I can bring the bill to your table. I'll pay at the counter later. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Let me know if you need anything else.
Does this come in any other colors? This shirt is nice. Does this come in any other colors? I'm looking for something in blue. Yes, this shirt is available in several colors, including blue. Let me show you where they are. That would be great. I like the style, but I prefer wearing blue. That's my favorite color. Blue is a popular choice. Here are the blue ones. We have them in light and dark blue. Which do you prefer? I think the dark blue would be better for me. Do you have it in my size? Let me check. What size do you need? I usually wear a size medium. Yes, we have the medium in dark blue. Would you like to try it on? Yes, please. Where are the fitting rooms? Right over there to your left. If you need a different size, just let me know. Can I return this if it doesn't fit? I like this jacket, but I'm not sure about the size. Can I return this if it doesn't fit? Absolutely, David. We have a 30-day return policy. Just keep the receipt and the tags on the jacket. That's good to know. Are returns easy to process? Yes, they are. You can bring it back to any of our stores or mail it back to us with the included return label. Great, I'll take the jacket then. Can I also exchange it for a different size if needed? Yes, you can. If the size you need is in stock, we'll happily exchange it for you. Perfect, that makes me feel more confident about buying it. How long does an exchange typically take? If you bring it to the store, it can be done right away. Online exchanges might take a week to process. I understand. I'll try the size, and if it doesn't fit, I'll come back for an exchange. Have you seen any good movies lately? Anna, have you seen any good movies lately? I'm looking for something to watch this weekend. Yes, I watched a great movie last week called Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It's an animated film with an amazing story. That sounds interesting. Is it a new release? It's been out for a while, but it's still popular. The animation is really unique, and the characters are great. I've heard good things about it. Is it available to stream online? Yes, you can find it on most streaming platforms. I watched it on Netflix. Perfect. I'll check it out. Do you usually watch animated movies? I do, especially when they're as well-made as this one. Plus, it's nice to watch something different from the usual. I agree. Animated films can be really refreshing. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome, Tom. Let me know what you think of it. I will. Maybe I'll watch it tonight. Thanks again, Anna. Enjoy your movie night, Tom. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is a real treat. I'd like to open a savings account. Hello. I'd like to open a savings account. Could you guide me through the process? Good morning. I'd be happy to help you with that. Do you have any particular type of savings account in mind? I'm not sure. What options do you offer? We have several types including regular savings accounts and high-interest accounts. It depends on your needs. I'm looking for something with a good interest rate, but also easy access to my funds. Our high-interest savings account might be a good fit for you. It offers competitive rates and easy access online. That sounds like what I need. What do I need to do to open this account? You'll need to provide some personal identification and fill out an application form. Please take me to this address. Taxi! Taxi! Hi, where do you want to go? Please take me to this address. Oh, wow. 
It is quite far from here. How far away is it from here? More than 30 driving minutes. How much does it cost? Around $50. It's okay. Right. And don't forget to wear a seatbelt, please. Of course, thanks. Are you new in this town? Yeah, I just moved here last week. How do you know that? Normally, people have preferred to travel by train than by taxi if the distance is far like this. How much will it cost to get to the airport? Excuse me, I urgently need a taxi to the airport. How much will it cost? I can't miss my flight. Hi, the fare to the airport is usually around $30. But given the rush hour, we might face some delays. That's more than I expected, but it's urgent. My flight leaves in just two hours. Can we hurry? Let's get going then. Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a tight ride. We should make it in 40 minutes if we're lucky. Perfect. I'm really nervous about this traffic. Please do whatever you can to get there quickly. Don't worry. I've got this. I hope so. I usually use taxi rides to relax, but there's no chance of that today. Hold on tight, Mia. I'm going to take a shortcut. How do I track my order? I recently placed an online order with your company. How do I track my order to know when it will arrive? To track your order, you can use the tracking number we sent in your confirmation email. Just enter it on our website under the track order section. I see. What if I didn't receive a tracking number? In that case, I can help you find it. Could you provide me with your order number or the email address used for the purchase? Sure. The order number is 567-432. And I used lucas at email.com. Thank you, Lucas. Let me check that for you. Okay, I found your order. It looks like it was dispatched yesterday. I'll send you the tracking number by email right now. That's great. Thanks. Can I change the shipping address? Hello, I've just placed an order on your website, but I entered the wrong shipping address. Can I change the shipping address? Yes, you can change the address as long as the order hasn't been dispatched yet. May I have your order number, please? Sure. It's 789654. I need to change the address to my office instead of my home. No problem. I can update that for you. What is the new shipping address? It's 123 Business Road, Office Park, Suite 201. Got it. 123 Business Road, Office Park, Suite 201. And the city and zip code? It's in Springfield, zip code 12345. Perfect. I've updated your shipping address. You should receive a confirmation email shortly. Thank you so much for your help. How long does standard shipping take? I'm about to place an order on your website. Could you tell me, how long does standard shipping take? Standard shipping typically takes between 5 to 7 business days, depending on your location. That's quite reasonable. What if I need the order sooner? Do you offer expedited shipping? We do offer expedited shipping. It takes 2 to 3 business days. But there's an additional charge for it. I see. How much extra is the expedited shipping? It's an additional $15 for expedited shipping. Would you like to use this option? I think I'll stick with standard shipping for now. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us. Enjoy your purchase. What's the problem?
Come in and sit down. So what's the problem with you? Yeah, doctor, I had a bad cough and a sore throat. You have a fever. Yes, doctor. First, let me take your temperature. Okay. Don't worry. You are just having a bad cold. Go home to bed and take one of these pills every six hours. Okay, I got it. Thank you. You'll soon be fine. Drink more water and get a good rest. I will. Thanks again. How fun it is. Happy birthday, Jane. Thank you for inviting us to your party. Come in. Lovely to see you both. Yeah, how fun it is. Yeah, there are lots of people here that you know. Come and help yourselves to the food. Here's a little something for you, Jane. Thank you, Peter. I hope you will like it. Anyway, who's that girl? That's Linda. She's pretty, isn't she? She likes to dance. Ask her to dance. Well, I don't know. Don't worry, she's very friendly. You are so funny. Thank God. Excuse me, my bag hasn't arrived yet. Which flight, sir? Flight number 483 from Canada to New York. Okay, did it have your name on it? It had my name, address, zip code, and telephone number. We'll try to find it for you, sir. Can you fill out this form? Description of bag, flight number, value of contents, etc. Oh, yes. And don't worry, 98% of lost bags turn up eventually. I hope so. Sir, is this your luggage? Thank God, this is my luggage. What will be, will be. What are you doing? You look worried. I'm waiting for the results of the music contest. Well, what will be, will be. Don't worry too much. Your performance was amazing. Thank you for your encouragement. Anyway, do you want to have a picnic with me this weekend? Oh, that's a fabulous idea. Where are we going for a picnic? We're going to the Botanics Nature Resort. Where's that resort? I've never heard about it. It's around 50 kilometers from the city center and is built in a 30-acre park. It's a farm full of adventure sports. It seems like a good place. Yeah, we're going to have a fun time there. Kill two birds with one stone. Hi, Linda. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm also fine. By the way, are you going on business this weekend, yeah? Yes, and I'll take my dad with me. Great idea. By taking my dad on holiday, I killed two birds with one stone. I got to go away, but also spend time with him. You are right. We should spend more time with our parents. <gasps> oh, it's time to go to work. I have to go. All right, goodbye. Go abroad. So where will you study? I heard you are going abroad next year. Yeah, I'm planning on going to Canada. Oh, that's great. What will you study? You remember I told you I wanted to study journalism? Yes, of course. Well, the graduate programs in Canada are very good. I could work for a media company and maybe get a job there in the future. Well, I hope it all works out. Even I am planning to travel abroad for engineering. Nice. 
What do you think will be a better country for it? Well, as my relatives suggested, I must go to the U.S. to complete training. It's a better choice. It's getting late. See you later. See ya. What are you looking for? Good morning, madam. What are you looking for? Yes, I'm looking for a t-shirt. Follow me, please. What color would you like? I like black. Here you are. This shirt is nice, but it looks a little big. Do you have this in a smaller size? I think so. Let me look. Oh, here's one. Would you like to use the fitting room to try it on? Sure, thanks. How did it fit? Not too bad. I think I'll take it. Great. How would you like to pay? Well, I'm almost maxed out on my credit card, so I think I'll pay with a check. Okay. With tax, it comes to $24.93. Okay. Here you are. Thank you. Here is your receipt. Have a nice day. I got it. Mom, I'm home. Hello, my dear. How was school? School was okay. I'm glad to hear that. What are you cooking? It smells so good. I'm baking cakes. They look really yummy. I'll give you a hand. Great. Help me wash the apples and cut them into small pieces. Yeah, Mom. I got it. Don't forget to wash your hands first. Of course. Anyway, I did great on the test. Mom, I was so worried about that test, but now I feel great. What a relief. Yeah, you've been studying so hard the past few weeks. Now you can relax and enjoy life. You are right. It didn't work. Do you have a laptop? Yes, but why do you ask? May I borrow it for one day? My laptop is broken. It didn't work. I need it to do my homework. Sure. By the way, what's wrong with your laptop? I put my laptop down carelessly, so the laptop monitor broke. Poor you. My father took it to the service center where we bought it. I hope it can be repaired. Well, you can use my laptop until your laptop is done. Thank you so much. No problem. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, hi, Adam. Long time no see. Come in. It's really nice to see you. You're looking great. Thank you. Come to the living room and make yourself at home. Would you like a cup of tea as usual with some cookies? I'd love to. Thanks. Here are your tea and some homemade cookies. Oh, I really like them. Thanks. So how was your trip? I hit some traffic on the motorway, but quite smooth overall. Excellent. How's your parents? They're all well. They send their love. Well, next month I hope I will have time to visit them. How's it going? Everything's all right. I graduated last month and I'm finding a job. How about you? I'm good. I'm preparing for my final exam. She is not my best friend. Hey, Jennifer, are you going to Sally's birthday party tonight? Is that tonight? Yeah, can you go? I was thinking about it. Are you? Yeah, I heard it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh. Well, I think you should go. 
It's your best friend's birthday, after all. No, she isn't my best friend. What happened? She slandered me. Although she apologized, we can't be good friends anymore. That's really bad. Even Steven. Thank you so much. If you hadn't helped me last week, I wouldn't have finished the job on time. Oh, it's nothing. We are friends and colleagues, aren't we? And you often help me. It was such a difficult project. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to do it alone. So I have to say thank you anyway. I'm glad to have helped. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. I will. And may I offer you a meal as a thank you? Oh, just buy me a drink and we're even, Stephen. Okay, so tomorrow morning I'll buy you a glass of Starbucks. Great. Well, I have to go. See ya. See ya. You have a lot of explaining to do. Where have you been? Do you know what time it is? I'm sorry, Dad. I lost track of time. All right. I have something to tell you, and you have a lot of explaining to do. First, tell me why you're late. I forgot my phone and had to go back to class to get it. That still doesn't explain why you're late, but okay. Now, I want you to explain this. What's the matter, Dad? Why did you get an F in literature? I didn't study enough. I'm disappointed in you. You won't be allowed to go out until you pass the test. Feel free to call me anytime. We haven't been apart for so long. I'll miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you too. It's just a year. I promise we'll stay in touch. We can have video calls every week. Yeah, feel free to call me anytime. Sure, maybe you could come visit me while I'm there. I wish I could, but you know I need to finish my studies. Yeah, right. So we'll be in touch for sure. Definitely. Well, I have to go now. I need to pack my bags and get ready. Thanks for having me and showing me around. It was nothing, really. Don't forget to let me know when you get there, okay? Will do. I'll text. Now get going before you miss your flight. Take care and see you again soon. Bye. Bye, Rachel. I love my job. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How about you? I am fine. So in which company are you working? I am working at Golden Hotel. What is your post? I am in the security department. That's great. Yeah, I really love my job. Why? Yeah, I like that it's mostly a stable job with opportunities even in a bad economy. I agree with you. Describe yourself in one word. Welcome to PG Group, David. I'm Tom. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. How are you today? I am doing well. And yourself? Great, thanks. So, David, shall we stop? Yeah, sure. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am the manager of our engineering department here, and we have an open position. Yes, sir. I read about the position on your website, and I think I am a good fit. Great. So which school did you graduate from? 
I was a student at Oxford University, and I graduated with a bachelor's degree in computer science. Amazing. Yeah, I've also worked as a computer lab tutor in school for about two years. Why are you looking for a job? The job should definitely help me grow in my career. I'd be happy to learn and develop while working in a company as passionate as yours. So can you describe yourself in one word? Diligent. Very well. Now, do you mind working overtime? No, I don't mind. Okay, do you have any questions for me? No, I think I have a pretty good understanding of the requirements. I hope to have the opportunity to work for you. I can tell that you are a good candidate. Expect to hear from us within a week or so about the job. Thanks, sir. Have a nice day. It feels like ages ago. Well, hello there, Diana. Wow, long time no see. It is great to see you again. Linda, hello. What a coincidence. I haven't seen you in ages. It is great to see you. Yeah, right. It feels like ages ago. So what brings you to Manchester? Are you just visiting? I travel with my boyfriend. Anyway, really happy to see you here. Yeah, it's a small world. We must keep in touch. Do you still have my mobile number? No, I lost my phone. Here is my new number. Okay, I will save your number. I've got to go back to work, but give me a ring so we can arrange dinner sometime. For sure. Take care. Bye. He's away, right? What happened? You look so sad. Yesterday, my bag was stolen. Gosh, that's bad. That's right. I left my car keys, phone, and wallet in there. So how did you get home? I borrowed a girl's phone and called my husband. He's on his way. Have you reported it to the police? Yes, I have. I hope you find your bag. Me too. Have you ever tried this? Wow, this is so delicious. This is apple pie, right? Yes, right. Have you ever tried this? Yeah, I've had this before. Well, you know, apple pie originated in England. Oh, really? Yeah. Apple pie is an unofficial symbol of the United States and one of its signature comfort foods. Can you teach me to make this? Of course. Great. No clue. Hey, see that guy outside? What guy? The one by the door. He's always staring. No clue who he is. Think he's into you? Nah, maybe he's just looking at the trees or something. Let's get some drinks. Cool. What are you getting? Hot chocolate for me. How about you? I'll go for an iced Americano. Sounds good. But seriously, that guy's still staring. Ugh, kind of creepy, right? Totally. Let's forget him and enjoy our drinks. I'll take it. Hey, got any old music boxes? How old are we talking? From the 1920s, maybe? Ah, lucky day. We had seven, but one sold today. Awesome. Do you have any... You know, dancers. 
Yeah, dancing figures are a hit. Here, do have them. Wow, both look amazing. I know, right? What's the damage? Was $100,000, but now just $50,000. Pricey, but I'll take it. Trust me, you'll love it. Got a warranty or something? Nope, but I know a guy who fixes them. Fair enough. Even if it's broke, still a great piece to have. What's wrong with him? Have you seen Mike today? Yes, but he looked really sad. What's wrong with him? I'm not sure. He didn't say much. That's unusual. Mike is always so talkative. I know, right? Maybe he's going through something. Should we talk to him about it? I think we should, but carefully. Yeah, we don't want to make him uncomfortable. Exactly. Maybe we can ask if he needs any help. Good idea. We can be there for him as friends. Can we start over? Jackson, you're cheating on me, aren't you? Wait, let's talk about this. I can't even look at you right now. Just chill, okay? Get out. Hear me out just once. Fine. Why did you cheat? Look, I met her at a bar. We had a drink. Then she kissed me. She kissed you? Uh, more like a peck on the cheek. Don't lie. Linda saw you two kissing. I'm really sorry. Can we start over? No chance. Show someone the ropes. Thanks for helping me get into bird watching. Sure thing. Bird watching is pretty cool. I'm excited, but kind of clueless, to be honest. No worries. I'll teach you the basics. Awesome. Thanks. Can we start tomorrow? Know a good spot? Yeah. There's this quiet park nearby. Always tons of birds. Will we see different birds? Totally. Bring binoculars, and you'll see them even from a distance. Cool! I've got this bird book, too. It's not my call. Boss says this has to be done tonight. You kidding? He said we had till next week. Client wants it tonight, man. That's nuts. Not my call. If you're mad, tell the boss. This is messed up. Can't do it in one night. It stinks, I know, but I'll help you, okay? Thanks, man. Now, let's get started. First, gotta cancel my plans for tonight. Yeah, better do that. Her grandmother is sick. Long time no see. Where have you been? Hey, was visiting my grandma overseas. Again? Didn't you just go? Yep, but had to go back. She got sick. How's she doing now? Better. She's actually staying with us. That's good to hear. Haven't seen Anna, though. You know why? Heard her grandma's not doing well, either. That sucks. We should really keep an eye on our grandparents, huh? Totally. Visit them more often, even. Yeah, it'll make their day. How about a drink to relax? Busy day, huh? 
Ugh, yes. Walked all over for meetings. I'm beat. How about a drink to relax? Sounds perfect. Let's go. Invite Timmy, too? <laughs> nah, he won't come. Why not? He doesn't drink. Okay, just us then. Let's go. You got this. Hey, Kathy. How's it going? Good. You? Super busy. Jogging now, then tons to do. Like what? Got a 10 a.m. meeting, then another at 2 p.m. Meetings. Ugh. Yeah, but gotta keep going. You got this. How many more meetings this month? Just two next week. Planning any breaks? Yep. Once I'm done, it's vacation time. Hang in there. You'll make it. What's your dream? What's your dream, man? Used to dream about space, being an astronaut. What changed? Got scared of height. Tough to be an astronaut, then. Yeah, so what about you? No dream, just a goal now. Cool. What's the goal? Want to go to a U.S. college, be a scientist. Tough to get in. Yeah, and costly. Gotta save up. Sounds like a plan. Where there's a will, there's a way. Thanks, man. Hope to make it big one day. What's the specialty there? Yes, I understand. We will meet to clarify this issue tomorrow. Okay, I'm sure. Have a nice day. Oh, what's the specialty there? Why are there a lot of balloons and fresh flowers? Surprise! My little Simon! What happened? Johnny, don't call me little Simon. 24 years old now. Yes, and from today, you're 25 years old. Today, I'm 25 years old. Yes, you are 25 years old. What, so today is my birthday? That's right, today is your birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Oh, God, so everything here. You guys prepared for me? That's right. Prepared for Simon's 25th birthday. Thank all of you very much. My friends, I'm very happy. You deserve it, Simon. You're very kind to everyone. Oh, thank you. Can I hug all of you? Oh, you have a really warm heart, Simon. Topic, what time is checkout? Excuse me. Good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? My name is Smith in room 1602 on the 26th floor. Could you tell me what time checkout is? Um, hold on a minute, Mr. Smith. In room 1602. Well, it's 4 p.m. Oh, I have a flight that leaves in about two hours, so I need to check out earlier, please. Was everything satisfactory? Well, the beds were really comfortable, and we weren't expecting our own television connected to the internet. I'm glad you liked it. How much will that be? Let's see. The total comes to $237.50. How would you like to pay for that? I'll pay with my visa, thanks. But I'll need a receipt so I can charge it to my company. Absolutely. Here you are, sir. We hope you enjoyed your stay with us, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.
How far is it? Excuse me. Could you tell me how I can get to the New York Marriott Marquis Hotel? If you're in front of the Disney store on 7th Avenue, then the New York Marriott Marquis Hotel is around the corner. On 7th Avenue? How far is it? It's about an hour if you go by taxi. Pardon me. Can you tell me what street this is? It's 6th Avenue. How can I get to the New York Marriott Marquis Hotel? You can get there by bus. Hmm. Which bus should I take? You can take number 26 or number 47 to get there. How far is it? It's about 10 minutes later than by taxi. Where's the bus stop of number 47? First, walk straight to the end of the road, then make a left turn and walk along South Street. When you see a crossroad, you will see the bus stop across the street. Thanks. That's very kind of you. I'll make out an admission card in the library. Good evening. Welcome to the Grand Woodward's Library. May I help you with anything? Evening, manager. We'd like to borrow those books. All right. May you give me your library card? You mean an admission card? Sorry, this is the first time I've come here. Don't worry. If you want to register for an admission card, we are currently having a promotion for new customers. That sounds great. I'd like to make out an admission card. Could you tell me how much it is? Don't worry about it. Signing up for an admission card is on the house. Really? I'll make out an admission card. How do we do that? Fine. I'd like to ask you some information first. Will you give me your identity card? Here you are. Thanks. We'll need it as we can only provide the cards for residents that are over 16 years old. Yeah, I see. Please fill in our card application form here and give it back to me as soon as you're done. Give it your best shot. Hi! Long time no see. I heard you were preparing for an athletics competition. Hi. Long time no see. I miss you so much, Annie. And, yeah, I have an athletics competition in about two weeks. How's it going? Are you still good? Are you all ready? Actually, I'm not feeling well. What kind of problem are you having? Do you feel worried? Not really. I just don't feel confident that I will win this competition. There are many talented rivals. And I can't believe I can do it. I'm afraid that I will disappoint people. You don't need to be scared, Lauren. You can do it. I believe it firmly. Why do you think so? I believe it. I believe in you. Enjoy it. Fight hard. Play with all you have. And give it your best shot. Can I? Of course you can. Try your hardest. Yes, I will do my best. Thank you for your encouragement, Annie. Topic, I've got butterflies in my stomach. I don't know what will happen to me tomorrow. I'm so worried now, Laura. You will have a job interview tomorrow, and now you are overthinking. But what if they ask me a question that I don't know how to answer? Calm down, Jimmy. Everything will be fine. If they ask me how to solve a problem and I have no idea how to solve it. You have prepared for this interview for a long time. If everything goes in a bad direction, what should I do? I'm sure you'll be fine. 
you'll be accepted into the position of the job that you want. Thank you for your encouragement. I feel a little better. I've got butterflies in my stomach now. It's okay, Jimmy. It is just a feeling. You can control it. Be confident. Be excited. Don't be nervous. Tomorrow, you will have a steady mind, step into the interview room, and use your best answers. And you will surely get your target. Yeah, I agree with you, Laura. I should be confident in myself because I have been working so hard for three months. Yes, you can do it. Yes, I can do it. Have you done your homework? Dad, let me use the computer for a moment. Did you finish today's homework? Well, not yet. I'll finish it tonight. But the teacher assigned a lot of homework. If you don't do it now, how can you submit it on time tomorrow? But the homework is so difficult. I want to take a break. Instead of playing video games or watching videos online, you should look for more information related to today's lesson. It will help you a lot to do homework. Can I play first instead? When you finish your homework, I will let you play computer games. Come on, Dad! Don't be so lazy. You need to focus on what you need to do. How was that film? Emma, what are you studying so intently? I want to find out more information about aliens after watching the movie Home last night. Sounds interesting. So what was that movie about? It theorizes that one day the Earth will be controlled by aliens. The film revolves around the challenging and humorous journey to find the mother of little Tucci and O. How did you find that movie? An interesting movie, full of adventure, but also very meaningful. The two main characters of the film are from opposite sides, and they gradually become close. They go together and realize many valuable lessons together. I'm curious how the friendship between humans and aliens will be. I'll probably look for that movie today. Where did you go on holiday? I heard your family went out for Christmas yesterday. Honestly, it's really an unforgettable holiday when I have the opportunity to strengthen the bond between family members. So where did you go? We went to a zoo near my house, which is surrounded by green grass and trees and many rare animals. I took a lot of beautiful photos there. Great. So what impressed you the most about that zoo? Not only did I get to see the animals, but I also learned about their behavior and fed them. I think zoos are important to raise people's awareness about protecting nature as well as endangered species. I can't find my laptop. Beauty, what are you running so fast for? Oh my god, Claire, have you seen my laptop anywhere? Your laptop? Where did you leave it? I remember I left it in the school library while I was doing my homework. But when I went back to look for it, it was nowhere to be found. Has someone stolen it already? I'm not sure. When I came back to class from the library, I didn't see any forgotten computers. It's a new computer my mom bought for me for my birthday, and I really need it to prepare for my presentation this afternoon. In the library, there is a small building dedicated to storing lost items and taking care of personal belongings. You can go there to look for it. Really? How do I get there? 
You can go to the block behind the library and turn right. It's near the back gate of the school. I see it. Thank you very much. Is this seat taken? Excuse me! Is this seat taken? That's my friend's chair. He's been out for a while and will be back shortly. If you don't mind, you can take a seat here. Thank you! This is my first time going to a concert like this, so I'm not used to it. Sorry if I bothered you. I met you at the school music club. You must be very knowledgeable about music. Honestly, no. I don't have a broad understanding of music genres, but listening to music is actually my hobby. Do you often go to concerts like this? Lately, I've been busy with exams in class, but if I have free time, I'll come. May I open the window? The room seems hot and stuffy. Yes, it's summer now. Do you mind if I open the window for a moment? That will make the room more airy. But it's hot outside. If you open the window, the sun will shine in. Or do we close the windows and turn on the fan and the air conditioner? Good idea. It can cool the room in the fastest time. It should have been in the evening when the air is quite cool and pleasant. We should open the window to ventilate the room. And during the day, close the door to avoid stuffiness. I get it. I'll pay more attention. So for now, where is the air conditioner remote? What is your nationality? Hello, can I sit here? Okay, this place is still empty. Are you a new student? You look so strange. You must not be from here. Since I am an international student, I will study here for two weeks thanks to the International Student Exchange Program at the school. Really? What's your nationality? I'm Vietnamese, and I am studying in an international associate university program. I will learn about the educational program as well as the extracurricular activities here. Actually, my mother is also Vietnamese. My parents have been in the U.S. for a long time. So you're an American citizen? Yes. If you feel the need, I will help you get used to the educational program here. Sounds good. Thank you. How do you go to work? Good morning, Amanda. Why are you going to work so early today? I just moved to a new house, which is closer to the company. So after bringing some stuff to my mom, I am immediately going to work. Really? So how'd you get to work? Before, my house was quite far from the company, so I used to take the subway. But now, I only need to walk about 10 minutes. What about you? What vehicle do you use? My house is about 7 kilometers from here. Every day I ride a bike to exercise, and at the same time enjoy the riverside view in the early morning. That sounds good, because using a bicycle reduces the rate of traffic jams. Before, if you came to work by car, it would take you half an hour to get to the company. Yes, and of course it helps the environment, too. What kind of books do you read? Jenny, do you also go to the library after school to look for references? Not really. I just want to find more books to expand my knowledge. But if I need to prepare for a project or presentation, I just look for scientific materials. What genre of books do you usually choose to read? Science books, of course. 
I'm majoring in biological research as well as genetic engineering. So books in this genre will be very helpful. What about you? What books do you usually read? I think soft skills books such as communication skills, presentation skills, learning design, and sales are great. They help me improve and promote the necessary qualities in my future career. Do you have any siblings? What happened today, Mary? You don't look happy. My brother broke my laptop by mistake. I had to take it in for repair all week and didn't turn my homework in on time. What a pity. So how many brothers and sisters do you have? I only have one younger brother, but as you can see, he's very naughty, often breaks my things, and is very stubborn. I think he didn't mean to upset you. Maybe because he's quite hyperactive. Do you have siblings, Mart? No, I'm the only child in the family, so it's quite lonely sometimes. Actually, I really want to have brothers and sisters in the house so that I can share my thoughts and sorrows, for example. Yes, you're right. That sounds fine. We're going to have a presentation on how to help students with disabilities in our school. So, where should we start? In my opinion, we need to start by giving an overview of people with disabilities to give more information to the whole class. Then we'll talk about discrimination in schools and finally, the solution. Do we have to do a PowerPoint part? I think we should. That makes it easier for the audience to follow the presentation. And it's also convenient to summarize the main idea of the talk. Should we make a short video interviewing some students in the school about the issue? That will make the talk more convincing. Sounds fine. So let's get started. Keep the change. We've made it to Disneyland in Los Angeles. Thank you. How much do I have to pay? According to the meter on the car, the fare is $45. Do you have cash? Yes, but at first I thought going to Disney would only take 15 minutes, about $30. Yes, but because of the traffic jam today, I had to turn around on the highway. It took longer than going straight, so the fare was also higher. I'm not worried about the price. I'm just afraid of being late for my appointment. It's okay. Here, you can keep the change. Thank you. What did you think of it? What are you reading, June? A very good storybook. The story of a seagull and the cat who taught her to fly. What's it about? The bird is caught up in an oil spill. A dying seagull scrambles ashore to lay her final egg and lands on a balcony where she meets a big black cat. The cat promises the seagull to look after the egg and teach the baby gull to fly. Unbelievable. So what do you think about this book? Not only is race a feature of this book, but Luis Sepulveda also teaches that it's important to help those less fortunate than yourself. The story also condemns the misconduct of people, which has a bad effect on nature and creatures. Humans really lack awareness of preserving nature. I know, even just for the sake of short term, but sometimes they accidentally destroy their clean living environment. It makes no difference to me. There will be a presentation contest in French at the school club. The judges will have to give a statement so that the contestants are free to express their thoughts as long as they can convince the judges. 
Why are you so interested in this contest? It seems it's only for members of the French club. Yes, but it is an opportunity for us to learn more from other excellent students, especially the skill of expressing ourselves in French. It's up to you. It's nothing special to me anyway. I'm not good at French, so I won't understand anything if I went to see the competition. You can ask Peter to go along. Maybe he'll enjoy it. All right, let me try it. I don't feel well today. You don't look very well, Cindy. What happened? I'm not very well today. I feel dizzy and have a headache. Maybe because I couldn't sleep last night. No, really, you have a fever. If you don't feel well, you can ask the teacher to let you go to the medical room to rest. If your condition gets worse, You should go to the doctor for an examination. How are you feeling now? I feel cold and tired. I must have caught a cold. Maybe I shouldn't continue studying today. I'll call my mom to pick me up. Okay, if you're sick, don't try to go to school. It'll only make it worse. Now go home and rest. And maybe you need to go to the hospital. Yeah, thank you. That's what I had in mind. Hi, Emily. Do you remember next week is Judy's birthday? I wanted it to be a surprise, but I was still confused about choosing an eye candy birthday present for her. Oh, I've forgotten. Let me see. What kind of present should we prepare for Judy? Should we buy her a new shirt? I don't think so. Dan bought her a new shirt anyway. Last year we bought an eye candy snow globe for a present and Judy liked it. Now I'm thinking about a CD, but I'm never really sure what music she likes. Also, we need to think about the cost. We need to consider Judy's hobbies. She is always writing letters, so I think a pen will be useful. Sounds great. So which colors are we going to buy? Well, the purple and black ones aren't very good. They're too dark. How about a gold color one? I'm sure Judy will like it when we get it for her. That's what I had in mind. Did I make everything clear? I did my best to prepare for the project in the last presentation, but it seems like everyone didn't pay much attention. I have heard your presentation about the main ideas in the lesson. It's very specific and precise. So I think the problem lies in your presentation skills. Really? You see what I said? When giving a presentation, you did not keep eye contact with the audience. You only focused on looking at the paper or at the information on the screen. That made the audience feel like you were reading, not giving a presentation. But this talk is so long, I can't remember all of it. Besides, when I speak in front of the whole class, I get so nervous. I'm afraid that I'll say the wrong thing. It doesn't matter. You just need to cross out the main ideas you want to say in the presentation. And then paraphrase it for us to understand. Your speech is too long and contains a lot of unimportant information. It makes me want to fall asleep. Oh man, thanks for your advice. I'll pay more attention. Topic 30. Why don't you go to see the doctor? Jenny, why do you look so tired today? I couldn't sleep last night, so this morning I woke up late and didn't have time to prepare my books. Do you have frequent insomnia? Lately, yes. I often wake up in the middle of the night, and it's hard to go back to sleep. Because I don't get enough sleep, I feel very tired the next morning. 
If you keep losing sleep so often, it will have a bad effect on your health. Why don't you go see a doctor? I've been studying for my finals lately, so I don't really have time to go to the hospital. And I think this insomnia is caused by my stress of studying, so it'll be fine. Don't underestimate it. Lack of sleep will greatly affect your studying in class and also your test results. Okay, okay, I'll go check it out today. I'll have some whiskey then. Anna, will you come to my house tomorrow? It's my brother's birthday. Really? That's great. Do you need my help with anything? I have allowed my brother to invite his friends to the party. I also want to buy the necessary decorations to decorate the house. My sister will come home from school at 5 p.m., so I have about three hours to prepare for the party. So you just have to come and have fun. But I can't just come and play. What about the dishes for dinner? For dinner, my parents decided to order food at a nearby restaurant to avoid having to worry about cooking. I asked my parents to let me organize a barbecue. It'll be interesting. Okay, I'll bring some whiskey then. I would give my ears for it. Hi, Sue. Do you have any plans when you graduate from high school? I think about that all the time. I have to choose one field for my higher studies. I want to study business, but my parents forced me to join the non-medical stream. They had their own justification because they know the opportunities and prospects in the field of non-medical medicine. You can just study in your favorite field if you do well at it. I see business as a potential and promising industry. Yes, but I don't know how to choose. You can check out some blogs where students have shared their experiences about their decisions related to their higher studies and their consequences. You can ask for advice. It can help you with your capabilities, strengths, and weaknesses. Thank you. I would give my ears for it. How was your holiday? Hey, bro. How was your holiday? It was the best. I stayed home all day, played video games, and played with my dog, Allie. Oh, uh, what video games do you play? I played Dragon Slayer, The Legend of Zelda, and Minecraft. That's cool. How was your holiday? I practiced basketball all the time. And I took some photos. I realized how wonderful it is to take great landscape photos. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Uh, hey, Bella. We're talking about holidays. How was your holiday in Paris? I definitely enjoyed Paris. An absolutely beautiful city. That sounds great. The city makes you fall in love with it the first time you go. Stop it. I can't believe I made such a stupid mistake like that today. I feel like such an idiot. Stop it. You're not an idiot. We all make mistakes sometimes. But it was a really important project, and I messed it up. Now I'm worried I'm going to get fired. Don't jump to conclusions. Just talk to your boss and explain what happened. They might be more understanding than you think. I don't know. I feel like I let everyone down. Look, everyone makes mistakes. It doesn't define you as a person. What matters is how you handle it and what you do to fix it. You're right. I just need to figure out a way to make it right. Exactly. And I'm here to help you. We can work together and come up with a plan to fix things. Thanks. 
I appreciate it. I don't know what I'd do without you. No problem. That's what friends are for. So stop beating yourself up and let's focus on finding a solution. I struggled with it all day. Hey, Daniel! Are you free? Tom and I are going to play basketball. Will you join? Oh, I wish I could, but I can't. Something wrong? What, what are you doing? I'm doing my homework. Oh, all right. Good luck with your homework. See you later. Come in. I just bought a new video game. Do you want to play with me? That's great. What is that? Survival. I think you'll like it. Oh, I really want to play now, but I have to do my homework. What homework is that? Math. You know, I don't really like numbers. I struggled with it all day. I can help if you want. Yes, of course. Thank you. I surely need a vacation. You look so tired. What's wrong with you, Alex? Lately, I've been so stressed at work. Busy work makes me often stay up late. That makes me hot-tempered and often quarrel with my wife. That's not good at all. You need a vacation to relax. Yes, I surely need a vacation. A vacation can improve your mental health and help you feel refreshed. Yeah, I see. Take your wife on a trip. That will help improve your relationship with your wife. I'll write an application for a day off and spend more time with my wife. If you want to travel, I suggest Bangkok or Paris. Thank you for your suggestion. Get carried away. I'm really looking forward to the party today. I heard today's party is huge. Really? Is that a rumor? It's not a rumor, it's the truth. It is Daniel Moran's birthday party. I'm also looking forward to this party. Don't get carried away. I know he is the son of a billionaire, but it is also his parents' money, not his. You're not excited about the party, are you? I only care about food. I'm afraid there's a lot of food there. I think there will be a lot of food there. Why are you afraid of that? I will get carried away and I will eat a lot, which will make me fatter. You are the thinnest of all of us. You can ask me anything. Hi, Neil. I would like to introduce you to a new colleague. Sure. This is Adam Parker. He will replace Emily to support you in your work. Uh, hello, Mr. Neil. I'm the new graphic designer. I worked at ACB Company for two years before joining this company. I'm excited to work with you. Nice to meet you, Adam. I'm Neil, your manager. I look forward to collaborating with you, too. It's nice to know you, Mr. Neil. You can ask me anything about work. I will answer as best I can. Thank you. I will. We will have a meeting with our team at 1 p.m. today. Are you ready for work now? Yeah, sure. I'm ready. 
Great. I'll finish it later. Newton, I need Paul Moran's file. Here you are. Thank you. Have you finished the research Bella asked you to do? She said she'll need it next week, so I'll finish it later. Really? I just talked to her. She said she'd like to meet you to get a report on the research. I don't know. I guess she wanted to discuss something about research. Newton, have you finished the research yet? Not yet. But I need it now. But you said I can finish it next week. I know. So now, you and I will do it together. I want it as soon as possible. Okay, let's do it. This is the best potato salad I've ever tasted. The weather is beautiful today. A beautiful day for our picnic. I prepared sandwiches, potato salad, and fruit. Thanks, Mom. And I prepared orange juice for us. Let's eat. Mommy! Can we give the man sitting there some food? Of course. Bring him this bowl of potato salad and orange juice. Yes, Mom. Excuse me. My mom made a lot of food and we want you to try this. Hope you like it. For me? Yes. My mom makes a really good potato salad. Please try it. Oh, thank you. This is the best potato salad I've ever tasted. I'm glad that you like it. I have several old clothes I need to donate. I really want to go shopping. Will anyone go with me? I don't want to go shopping right now. I have a lot of clothes that I haven't had a chance to wear. Oh, okay. How about you, Emily? Would you like to go shopping with me? Okay, but first I need to get rid of my old clothes. I have two boxes filled with old clothes. You can donate those old clothes to some place like Goodwill or Salvation Army. Can you send me the information about those places? Okay. I'll send it to you right now. Please send it to me, too. I have several old clothes I need to donate. Okay. It was so good. Hey, Patrick. Morgan and I are getting together for lunch. Do you want to come with us? Oh, I really want to, but maybe next time. My friend will come to pick me up for lunch. What a pity. Where are you guys going for lunch? We'll eat at the newly opened Korean restaurant across the street. I've eaten there already. Oh, really? How was the food? It was so good. The taste was so original. They have lots of traditional Korean food. Oh, you're making me excited. Have you made a reservation? Not yet. You should call the restaurant and ask if a table is available. You're right. I'll call them now. The others haven't arrived yet. Happy birthday, Newton! Thanks for inviting me to your birthday party. Here's my birthday present. Hope you like it. 
Thank you so much, Linda. You are so thoughtful. And here's a little gift that I have prepared for you. Thanks, Peter. This is the first time I received a gift from you. Really? Yeah. So for my next birthday, I definitely have to invite you, because I haven't received any gift from you either. Okay. Remember to invite me. I will definitely come. Has the party started yet? The others haven't arrived yet. I think they'll be here in ten minutes. Follow me. I'll get some drinks for you two. Okay, thanks. I heard somewhere that this house is haunted. What are you reading, Dad? I'm reading a very interesting article. What is that? It's about a haunted house. Really? Is it true or just a rumor? I don't know. The article also raises the question of whether this is true or just a rumor. Where is it located, Dad? It's located at 6 King Street. I think it's just a rumor. There are no ghosts at all. Hey, David, what's wrong? What are you doing? Nothing, just watching TV. What's up? Come with me to explore a house at 6 King Street. Wait a minute. 6 King Street? I heard somewhere that this house is haunted. Right, that's why we're going to explore it. Sounds interesting, right? No, there are no ghosts at all. Do you allow your kids to play outside the house? Do you allow your kids to play outside the house? Yes, of course. It's necessary for the development of the kids. Playing outside allows kids to develop some motor skills because they can walk, swing, play catch, climb trees, and ride bikes. Do you allow your child to play alone outside? No. I mean, now I don't allow my kid to play alone outside. He's just six years old. I think children who have reached the tween years are generally safe enough to play outside alone. Yeah, that's right. Do you often let your kids play outside, too? Yeah, that's right. She's two years old now. I often take her for a walk to let my baby enjoy the fresh breezes, bird songs, forest smells, and plants. Is it okay if we add a bit of sugar to the tea? What are you doing, Mom? I'm making tea. I'm making you a cup of tea, and Andy a cup of tea, and Dad a cup of tea. Thanks, Mom. What tea is that? It's green tea. Do you want to try it? Yes, yes, yes. I want to try too. Of course. How do you feel? It's bitter. Is it okay if we add a bit of sugar to the tea? <gasps> yeah, that's right. Yes, sugar in green tea tastes good, but green tea is better without adding sugars and flavor. Hard nut to crack. I've only been here a week, but I've heard almost everyone mention Jessie. Who is Jessie? She's the leader of the sales department. She's very good at negotiating. I want to meet her. I'm curious about her. She's right over there. He's a potential customer, but I think it will be difficult for us to convince him. Oh, I see. He is a hard nut to crack. But I think I can convince him to agree to the contract. I have never doubted your ability, so I made an appointment to see him at 3 p.m. this afternoon. 
Okay, sir, I will not let you down. She is really confident. There is something about her that is very attractive. I think so, too. Under one condition. Hello, Tom. Daniel, Anne, and I are going to the movies. Let's go together. The movie only takes two hours. I really want to, but I can't. The name of the movie is The Adventure of Friends, so we can't go without you. Because I've been playing all week, now I need to focus on studying. Oh my god, it was your mother who said that, not you, right? Yes, and my mother told me this. You can go outside to play under one condition. You have to finish your homework. That's right. Here's a strawberry smoothie and cookie for you. Thanks, Mom. How do I know that? My girlfriend is mad at me again. What's wrong? She said that I don't care about her. Really? She was watching a movie, and I was playing a game. She said she was hungry and she wanted something to eat. Then she asked me what I wanted to eat. I said it's up to her. She said I was only interested in the game, and then she was mad at me. What did I do wrong? How do I know that? Girls are complicated. I can never guess what's in their mind. I know, right? I apologized, but I didn't know why I was wrong. Poor you. Maybe you will find out one day. It will be extremely difficult to understand. Why do you look so sad? Would you like to share your problem? We can listen. Yes, we are best friends. But if you don't want to share, we also respect you. Of course I want to share with you. But it will be extremely difficult to understand. We've been friends for ten years. I think we can understand each other. That's right. We believe we can understand. Emily wants to come back to me. What is your answer? I agreed with her. What? what? You got dumped by her two times. Last time she cheated on you with a rich man. You said you could understand me. You are a fool. Oh, my bro. Hit the books. I've just bought a new game. Do you want to play with me? Sorry, but I can't play the game with you tonight. I have an exam tomorrow, so I need to hit the books tonight. Oh, I have an exam tomorrow, too. We can hit the books after playing the game. No, Peter, not today. Maybe next time. That's boring. I don't want to play alone. If you don't hit the books now, you'll surely fail. You've had enough of time wasting. Okay, okay. I'll hit the books first, and then I'll play the game. How important is it? Mom, does Dad often stay up late at night? On days with a lot of work, he often stays up late. Yesterday at 2 a.m., I got up to go to the bathroom and found Dad was still working. Staying up late is bad for us, isn't it? Yes. What should we do for Dad? You can advise him. How, Mom? You can tell he knows the importance of going to bed early. How important is it? 
Good sleep improves our brain performance, mood, and health. Not getting enough quality sleep regularly raises the risk of many diseases. I don't want Dad to get sick. Don't worry, sweetheart. I will pay attention to my health. So don't stay up late, Dad. Okay. Do you promise? I promise. What do you think of that? Vacation is coming. Where do you think we will travel together? I think we should travel somewhere with a lot of sunshine. We can go to the beach and sunbathe. That sounds good. What do you think of that, Max? That's a good idea. So which country are we going to travel to? How about Riviera Maya in Mexico? Okay, I've never been to Mexico either. Let's go there. Great. Can my siblings come with us? Sure. The more the merrier. Who do your siblings include? My elder sister Linda and my younger brother William. That would be fun. We should plan our trip right now. She spoke softly. Yesterday I heard Susan and her boyfriend arguing. Really? I didn't know they argued. They've been dating since high school, but this was the first time I heard them arguing. What did they argue about? I just saw them arguing, and then she calmed down. She spoke softly and comforted him. Should we ask her, or let her share with us first? I don't think we should ask. Let her share with us first. Hi, girls. Hey, how are you? Daniel and I broke up yesterday. Why? We couldn't make each other happy or better. I don't know, but I can't keep going. I know you put a lot of thought into making this decision. Everything will be fine. It was only a month. Hey, Alex, how are you? I'm fine. How are your studies going? So, so, how are your studies going in Spain? Everything is great. Have you had any difficulties at school? I heard that Spanish is quite difficult. Yeah, but now I can communicate with native speakers. Really? It was only a month. Amazing, Alex. Do you remember Alex? Yes, of course. He is studying at university in Spain. Right. He went to Spain last month. How is he? Now he can speak Spanish with native speakers. It was only a month. Yeah, he is quite good at learning new languages. No doubt. He never cleans his own mess. Why are you sighing like that? My boyfriend is so messy, and he never cleans his own mess. Never? Yes, I always remind him and complain to him about it all the time. I hate doing it because it makes me look like his mom. If you can't accept it, let's have a serious talk with him. You're right. Max, I have something to tell you. Will you talk about how messy I am? That's right. I washed all my socks, washed our clothes, and washed dishes. Really? My mom said she broke up with her ex-boyfriend because he was so messy. I'm afraid that such things will happen to me. I don't want to lose you. 
You're so cute. Hit the jackpot. Yesterday, I heard my cousin say this phrase while on the phone with his friend. Which phrase? Hit the jackpot? What does that mean? It means you hit a guy named Jackpot. Really? No, he is teasing you. Hey! Hit the jackpot means achieving great success or suddenly getting or winning a lot of money. You could say, Lady Gaga hit the jackpot with her first two albums. Or, J.K. Rowling hit the jackpot with her Harry Potter series. Oh, I see. Thanks, Olivia. OMG, I hit the jackpot. Really? really? Here, look. I don't see anything. I'm just kidding. I didn't hit the jackpot. You're always not serious and always joking. Because life is boring. I'm making it fun. Not, not fun, fun at, at all. all. I broke our promise. Now it's the reporting date. We promised each other not to shop too much and save money last month. Remember? I broke our promise. I can't live without shopping. How much did you spend on your last shopping spree? $3,000. Oh my god. What did you buy? Please, don't ask. How about you, Stella? I broke our promise, too. Seriously? But I spent less money on shopping than Anna. It was $2,000. How about you, Julia? You must have saved a lot of money. I spent on my last shopping spree $3,500. What? I thought you two would be a good example for me to follow. You left the door open. Sophia, wake up! Mom! Dad! How long have you been napping? One hour, I guess. You forgot to close the door, didn't you? The door? Oh my god, I completely forgot. After taking out the trash, I felt extremely sleepy. Oh, you left the door open. I guess so. Did you hear it? Yes, there's something in the kitchen. It is because I forgot to close the door and a thief broke in? Oh. A, a cat. cat. You're so cute! Can we adopt this cat, Mom? Okay, if this cat doesn't have an owner. We should ask the neighbors if they have lost any cats first. Okay, Dad. I need more money. I think I will find a part-time job. You already have a part-time job. I plan to take an extra course, so I need more money. My brother has opened a club and it looks like he needs help too. I'll contact him and let you know. Thank you, Matthew. But you should pay attention to your health. Don't try too hard. I will. Ah. Uh. Hey, are you okay? I have a stomach ache and I feel dizzy. Mom? How do you feel? I feel better. The doctor said that you work and study too hard. That is the cause of your stomach ache and fainting. Oh my god. You must take good care of your health. I'm sorry to worry you.
in a pickle. I booked a table at a restaurant. After work, I will come home and we can go to the restaurant together. That's so sweet. But today is not our anniversary at all. I know. I was so busy these days that I can't spend much time with you. So I want to do something for you. Thank you, honey. See you tonight. Love you. Come in. These are the documents you will need for today's meeting. Meeting? Yes, you have scheduled a meeting today with the marketing team. Oh no, I forgot. I'm in a pickle. What should I do? Should I cancel today's meeting or change the date with my wife? That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.